Upon completion of this chapter, you will have an understanding of the environmental safety security tasks and requirements, the information given in the different data sheets, the requirements for deployment of firefighting equipment during loading, the requirements for maintenance of firefighting equipment and record keeping, the IMO and MARPO requirements to equipment and operation of a crude oil tanker in order to prevent oil pollution. The requirements for reporting of oil spills and situations that may lead to an oil spill, according to the vessel's Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Plan or SOPEP. The routines required both at sea and during port call by the company's and vessel's security plan. The junior officers, pumpman and bosun, being in charge of most operations during loading and on the laden voyage. Should be familiar with the important information given in the cargo material safety data sheet. The material safety data sheet is a document identifying a substance and all its constituents. It provides the recipient with all necessary information to manage the substance safely. The format and content of a material safety data sheet for Marpole Annex One cargoes and marine fuel oils are prescribed in IMO Resolution MSC. 15077. The material safety data sheet is a mandatory sheet of specific information to each grade of cargo, as well as bunker oils, where the main sections deal with emergency procedures and health hazards. The junior officers and bosun with the deck crew are responsible for deployment of fire hoses ranged fore and aft of the manifold being used, and positioning the foam guns correctly. They are also responsible for deployment of the vessel's oil pollution prevention equipment, such as air-driven sandpiper pumps, oil booms, sawdust, brooms and shovels, fish plate scuppers, etc. The junior officers should be familiar with first response action and alerting sequence, both on board and to shore. They should be familiar with the reporting procedures given in the vessel's shipboard oil pollution emergency plan or SOPEP. They are also responsible for practicing the vessel's security plan, that is, check that security surveillance rounds and ID checks at the gangway are carried out. In addition to navigational watches, the junior officers are responsible for checks and maintenance of the vessel's life-saving and firefighting equipment. IMO and SOLAS regulations require a detailed record of such tests and maintenance. IMO International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, 1973, as modified by the Protocol of 1978 relating thereto, MARPOL 7378, is the most important convention regulating and preventing marine pollution by ships. In the SOPEP manual, a list of required oil pollution cleanup equipment is implemented. The list should be made ship-specific, and a drawing of the location on board for such equipment should be posted on the bridge. For detailed information on this matter, see CBT Number Four, SOPEP, and CBT Number Six, OPA 90. Both in SOPEP and OPA 90 manuals, detailed reporting procedures with reporting forms are implemented. The reporting forms should always be kept ready at hand on the bridge, and pre-filled in with known data. The security plan is a ship-specific plan based on the IMO International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, or ISPS Code, and SOLAS Amendments of 2002. All on board shall be familiar with the security procedures and routines, both in port and in open sea, and the vessel security level should be known to all on board at all times.